morning. Let's come together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with God our Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. And Mass is offered today for Teresa Gleason. O God, who called the Bishop St. John Nauman, renowned for his charity and pastoral service to shepherd your people in America, Grant by his intercession that as we foster the Christian education of youth, we may constant and, and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother, why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed then, brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us so that we ought to lay our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn, for our God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let, Let all, all the, the earth, earth cry, cry out, out with, joy. God, with God. joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. We are His. We are His people, the flock He tends. Let, Let all, all the, the earth, earth cry, cry out, out to God, God with joy. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him. Bless His name. Let, Let all, all the, the earth, earth cry out to God, to God with joy. The Lord is good. The Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all, the, all earth the earth cry out, cry out to, God to God with joy. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, follow me. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law 
and also the prophets, Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I said I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. A number of years ago when I was vocation director for the diocese, I was at a national conference and a priest from India got up and was talking all about the terrible vocation crisis in his country. And finally he said, the crisis is this, they have too many priests. <laughs> too many, that's a wonderful crisis, isn't it? <laughs> but that's the situation of our saint today, John Nauman. He was a young man in, in Bohemia, the early 1800s, and uh, there were too many priests. So he came to the United States, came to America, was ordained a redemptorist priest, and became the fourth bishop of Philadelphia. But you know, there's, there's something wonderful about John Nauman in, in light of today's scripture reading. Uh, John Nauman certainly saw the church grow and build up in the United States. Uh, especially in, in, in Philadelphia, the opening prayer, you know, made reference to Philadelphia as the city of brotherly love when it says that by our brotherly and sisterly, by our familiar love with one another, may we lead others to Christ. That's part of what's going on in the gospel, isn't it? Just as yesterday we heard of uh, Andrew meeting Jesus and then going to his brother Philip and saying, I, we've met the Messiah. So, so today, Philip meets Jesus and goes to Nathaniel. That wonderful line, can anything good come from Nazareth? <laughs> you know, I, I think it, it teaches us an important lesson in this Christmas season. There's goodness in our earth, even though we see so much tragedy and so much that's wrong, we still can look and find the presence of God. And that's what Jesus tells Nathaniel. You'll see so much more than this. Follow me. Let's, uh, as we celebrate Mass, of course, we pray for vocations constantly. Pray also that uh, uh, the Holy Spirit leads our diocese in getting a new bishop. Let's pray for, for many, many things, for goodness to come from our world. But let's pray that by our love for one another, that we too can lead others to Christ, that the church can continue to grow and grow. Let's stand and pray. God fully knew us before we were born. We bring then with confidence to him these prayers. For families caring for elderly relatives that they might find support and comfort, we pray to the Lord. The young adults and their parents might find balance for their lives and renew familial bonds, we pray to the Lord that the whole human race might be brought to unity through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the world, we pray to the Lord. That your church on earth may never again allow cycles of abuse to harm its members, we pray to the Lord. That the suffering and sick might find healing in their hearts and minds and bodies, we pray to the Lord. 
We pause for all of our own prayers and intentions and for many needs of our faith community. We pray to the Lord. Oh God, you guide us in all our ways and draw us continually to yourself. Hear our prayers as we gather before you, seeking to live the life to which you've called us through baptism. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have the bread that we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ, your Son, just as you granted to St. John Nauman to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly it's right and just our duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through Christ the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. So in company with all the choirs of angels and saints, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy the gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Thomas More, St. John Nauman, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may the sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, with all the bishops and the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family you've gathered here before you in your mercy and compassion. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To all of our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the vision and fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With trust in God, we now can pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from all evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. word in my
everyone who has given up home, brothers or sisters, father or mother, wife or children, or property for my sake will receive many times as much and inherit everlasting life. Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask you, O Lord, that by the example of St. John Nauman, that we may experience the power of this sacrifice, the sacrament, and remain constantly in the church by the bond of unity and truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.